Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication and division, the relationship in between these two operations. This is standard 3.4J in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 18 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to see if you can pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, let's check our answers together. So this is kind of a, a big problem. Let's read it together real quick. There are 36 bicycles in six rows. So those are the only two numbers we're going to get. There are the same number of bicycles in each row. Which equation can be used to find the number of bicycles in each row? So we've got two keys here, same number. And then we're going to see this, this word each come up a few times. So whenever we get same number or each, that's going to give us a clue that we are dealing with equal groups. The same number, equal groups, the same amount. That's very big. Whenever we see equal groups, that means we are most likely dealing with multiplication and division. And remember, uh, the two are inverse operations, so you can use one to find the other. They're backwards, just like multiplication and division are inverse, so are addition and subtraction, something you're also familiar with. So let's see if we can figure this out. We've got six rows. So I'm just going to draw six rows here. So I've got three, four, five, six. So when all else fails, just take your 36 bikes. I'm not going to draw bikes. I'm going to use little uh, slashes. And we're just going to see. I'm assuming we can uh, divide this up into six equal rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, getting close, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So it looks like what I did was I took my 36 bicycles and I divided them into uh, six rows evenly, and then my answer is going to be how many are there per row. So in this case, it is six. Or I could take this as a strip diagram. I could draw it like this. I can say, look, I've got a total of 36, and I want to put them into six equal rows. So you can kind of do it like this, and you can just divide these into six equal rows. And then the question is, how many goes in each? Well, groups of six. The problem is this is not going to be one of your answer selections. They don't even have division over here. We've got multiplication, we've got a subtraction, and we've got an addition. And if we're looking at which equation can be used to find the number of bicycles in each row, well there are six bicycles in each row. So I can't even look at my answer choices over here and see which one of these come up with 6. The closest one is 12 in J, but that doesn't seem quite right. So this is where we need to know the relationship between multiplication and division. So take a look at this right here. When we are looking at this strip diagram, which I drew for 36 divided by 6 equals 6. So this also can be, if you look at it from the, the top, down, it's 36 divided by 6 equals 6, but from the bottom up, look at how many groups I've got. I've got 6 groups. Each group has got 6, so 6 times 6 makes 36. So what we need to see here is that these are number sentences that are in a fact family. Now, normally there are four number sentences in a fact family, two multiplication, two division, or if you're doing addition, subtraction, two of each. But since we've got two sixes, just flipping those around isn't going to make it look any different. So really, we just have two. But this is what the inverse operation means. It means that whenever you have a division problem or a division number sentence like we do up here, there's always going to be a matching multiplication problem. Your product here, 36, is always going to line up here with your dividend. That's the big number that you're dividing into. So if we're looking at that, well, then our answer here is going to be F. We didn't subtract and we didn't add. 